to get a little bit of wealth through the wrong way is not difficult. But what is poisonous is the result of that because when we put that into our mouths as Muslims we are taught that it contaminates the whole system. Say for example I've had a meal. That meal was from money that I had extorted from someone or robbed or cheated them in one way or deceived them even if they gave it willingly but for as long as they were deceived. That money is dirty. When I purchased a meal for my family with dirty money what we are taught is they will eat it. When they eat it, it has a negative effect on the esophagus, you know, the stomach and the intestines, the entire digestive system, the enzymes, everything is cursing this human being. And on top of that, the energy derived, you know, the energy that is derived, the, the flesh that is grown through that which we ate, which was earned in clandestine means, will not be used in something spiritual or good. So we have energy with our hands. We are not happy when we touch that which is permissible. We will only be quenched when we touch that which is not allowed. We are not happy when we look at what is allowed for us. We will only be quenched when we look at that which is prohibited. Why? Because we've eaten that which is what we call haram, that which is prohibited, dirty, filthy. So our eyes cannot be satisfied except through a filthy way. Our brains are contaminated that we can't think straight. This is why the Quran says, الَّذِينَ يَأْكُلُونَ الرِّبَا لَا يَقُومُونَ إِلَّا كَمَا يَقُومُ الَّذِي يَتَخَبَّطُهُ الشَّيْطَانُ مِنَ الْمَسِ A person who consumes usury and interest, and you know as Muslims, we firmly believe that that is haram, it's prohibited, because interest makes the rich richer and the poor poorer. You've got money, you can lend it out, people who are poor will work for you forever and ever to give you more and more, and they have less and less. In a nutshell, when a person eats dirty wealth, they get up or they can only stand in a condition of the one who is possessed by the devil. Which means they are not happy when they look at their own wives, but when they see other women, they are excited and happy. It quenches their eyes. They cannot be happy when they touch something which is legitimate, but when they touch that which is prohibited, they are happy. They are excited. When they think, they can only think awkward. They were only happy with dirty thoughts, but the clean thoughts do not come into their minds. Similarly, when they have to judge between people, their minds are sometimes blown apart. They don't know how to think. They cannot see simple mathematics. One plus one to them is not two. Why? Because they don't have the brain. To them, they cannot see that this person is right and this is wrong because they have nourished that brain with that which is prohibited. The reason why we believe this is in order for us to realize the importance of clinging very solidly to that which is permissible and full of blessings. And this is why we say there is a lot to be learned when it comes to business ethics. We are supposed to be the most upright, very clear. Imagine when we are selling a motor vehicle, a true believer would be saying, you know what, I've made an accident, it was damaged here, the car looks brand new, it is a beautiful vehicle, but I need to tell you the three defects it has. Here you are, if you want it, take it, if you don't want it, leave it. That's a true believer. Whereas you have a person who might claim to believe, saying, no, nothing wrong, no accident, no nothing, beautiful car. It was better for that person to say, here's the vehicle, look at it nicely, if you like it, take it, if you don't leave it, that's even a better statement than that. So we need to choose. And the result of it will be either we are blessed or we lose blessings. The choice is yours.